How's it going everyone? Colby here with Colby's Cards and today um, I got my hands on a blaster box of Topps Gallery. Um, I went to Walmart today after getting dinner with some friends and uh, decided to check Walmart just because I always go to Target and never really go to Walmart. There's not really one super close to me so I uh, just decided to check it out for once and luckily this particular Walmart they keep their cards <clears throat> in kind of like a it's in like a it's not behind customer service but it is in a locked um like case almost so typically have luck there you know definitely been there before um typically have more luck there just because nothing is too over picked or, or picked over rather um nothing is you know scattered all about and people don't pack search because you have to get somebody that works there to unlock the case and stuff like that so definitely a nice place to grab some cards um, but decided to check out Topps Gallery this year. Um, I've never opened this. I did not open any last year. Um, I'd love to get my hands on a mega box or a monster box is what they call them. Um, so yeah, I mean, who knows what we can find. Uh, hopefully we can find something cool. I know on the box it says we can look for potential sketch cards, potential rookie autographs, things like that. There are the odds and the no purchase necessary. And then where else did I see? We get printer proof parallels. Uh, so we're gonna get four of those per box here as well. So that's kind of the draw of the blaster box versus the uh, mega box. But the mega box is gonna run 80 bucks. They also just didn't have any of those. Um, so potentially adding those to uh, you know ask for for Christmas or something like that. So we shall see. Uh, but they do they did or they did rather um, replace the or, so the original point of Topps Gallery was um, every card was basically a painting or a sketch or a drawing of the players on the cards. They have switched to photography rather than that. Um, which I, I mean I kind of like. I mean some of the art it, some of the art wasn't. The best or it just kind of felt rushed you know to get the product out but regardless i like it and then you can also get like limited production sketch cards now rather than the uh regular photography on the cards so um first card here we do have a derek jeter this is a product that's going to have a mixture of um you know past and present players also rookies and things like that but derek jeter on the first card christian yelich and Acuna Jr. we have on the Modern Artists. Definitely like that card there. And then uh, David Ortiz, one of my favorite players of all time, on the last card. So this is the card design. Um, I think these would be tough to gem up because they do have the corner uh, like print there. They have like the colored corners, uh, especially with the dark blue. Uh, and then they are just, you know, you'd also worry about centering on the cards as well. But I think they would be nice look, nice looking gemmed up. So I don't know. We'll see. See if we can find anything out of here. We do have Randy Johnson. We have a foil card of Brandon Woodruff. And I don't believe these are numbered. They are not. Uh, but still like a silver foil on the borders there. I guess we could put that up on the top since it is a parallel. Uh, we do have our first printer proof. This is Marcus Simeon for the Texas Rangers. These are not numbered. This is one of the four that were guaranteed per box. Uh, I guess I can put that up top as well. Put those in like a pile. Uh, we have our first rookie card here. It is Hoy Park for my hometown Pirates. And then Justin Verlander as well. So pretty cool to see Verlander on a card. Not sure... That's kind of weird. Oh, so it just gives the 2021 stats of players, I guess. Um, I guess Randy Johnson, that he would have like career stats. Let me see. Derek Jeter. Here, Christian Yelich. Yeah, so his just has 2021 stats. And then this it just does not, it says he did not play in 2021. Obviously, JV had uh, had some health issues going on in 2021. So he did not play that year all right packs are a little tough to open i've seen that in some videos before as well these packs just being a little tough to open um i don't know if this is anything here we have like this little swoop on the card but ryan mountcastle 
Tops Gallery. See how it has like a different design up there. Not sure what that's all about. All right, but Ryan Mountcastle, nice card there. We have Vlad Jr. Uh, Master Class card, or Matt, sorry, Master Strokes card. Uh, this is like an insert set. Got Chaz McCormick rookie card and Garrett Cole. Four packs remaining. Hopefully we can get something good out of these. Not expecting any autographs or anything like that. Would love to see a numbered card, but uh, again, not super high expectations coming out of here. We have Manny Machado on the first card. We've got uh, Elliot Ramos for the Giants. Nice rookie for the Giants there. Walker Bueller on the Artist Proof. And then we have Andre Jackson rookie card for the Dodgers. Last card in here is Yadier Molina. Kind of looks really sad in that picture if you ask me, but what do I know? Definitely, uh, definitely a nice card though with him being the or his, this is being his last year, rather. That's what I was trying to say. Actually got to see his last regular season game uh, in Pittsburgh, so that was pretty cool. Uh, he came in to pinch hit for somebody uh, in the designated hitter spot and got to see him and have the, the crowd just kind of like cheer him on, which was pretty sweet, so that was pretty awesome. Uh, I've got, excuse me, Cody Bellinger on the top card there. Hunter Green rookie card. That's a pretty decent one. Put that up here. Uh, I've got the next wave insert of Ronald Acuna Jr. And a Reed Detmers rookie card. Threw a no-hitter at the beginning of the season, which was pretty fun. I think was that the I think that's the only complete game no-hitter of the season, isn't it? I know last year we had a ton. Uh, but I think this year that might be the only one that happened. So not entirely sure. Uh, we do have a JD Martinez. Got another foil card here. This is Johnny Bench. Pretty sweet looking card there. We do have a rookie of Jose Siri in his Astros gear. Now plays for the Tampa Bay Rays. We've got uh, Javi Baez. Kind of a disappointed, disappointing year for him after getting traded from, uh, where'd he go? He went to the Mets and then the, uh, and then the Tigers from the Cubs. So, and then a rookie card of Vidal Brujan. And our last pack here, we should have, I think, one more printer proof coming, if I'm not mistaken. All right, I think we should be getting that here in this pack, but we do have a Matt Brash pitcher rookie card on the front. Corey Seager for the Texas Rangers. We've got a printer proof nice of Ken Griffey Jr. Very, very cool. Uh, again, these are not numbered, but still very nice cards. Put that over here. Uh, George Springer, and on our last card is a Jared Kelnick. So I am noticing again, so the, the Kelnick here, and there was one other card that had it. This one, the Mount Castle. Have these like gold brush strokes at the top versus, I mean, if you look at this one, it doesn't have anything extra design wise. But then this one here has like an extra thing. So I'm not sure. I don't know if those are going to be like image variations or what. Let's see what the Verlander is. So the Verlander is the top card there. Now there's definitely no, there's no additional serial numbers on the back. So I'm going to have to look that up. I'm not entirely sure. Um, and again, I think the image variations use the actual artwork rather than... Um, images. So I, I mean, these are clearly pictures rather than artwork, but uh, let me know if you know what those are. Let me know in the comments down below, but this is uh, about what to expect out of a blaster box. So for 25 bucks, I would recommend going for the $80 monster box. You're guaranteed two autographs out of there, um, you know, versus the no autographs out of here and just getting those printer proofs. Um, not quite as worthy as an autograph, obviously, uh, but let me know what you think. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.